Animated maps is a great way to make your travel videos much more interesting and I've tried a lot of different ways but this is by far the easiest method. So tag along. To make the map you need a web browser and Apple Keynote, so sorry no PC. First we need a screenshot of a map, so open up your favorite service all you need is an image of a map, so you can use Google Maps like here or for beautiful satellite images I use Stegra.io and I also use Arcis because you can really play around with different styles of maps. Links in the description. So I'll choose this dark theme over Northern Britain and choose the zoom level that suits my map that I want to animate. And then I close all the side panels and dialogues to make the image as large as possible. Now let's just make a screenshot over the map so it saves as an image file. Now let's open Keynote from Apple and create a new document. And make sure to use the widescreen format and just pick any presentation theme and remove everything. Now we bring in the screenshot that we took over the map and resize it so it fits the screen. Head up to the menu and choose to insert and you want to choose draw with pen. Now just click to plot out a rough travel path that you want to animate. In this example, we're going from Hull up to Edinburgh on the east coast, over to Glasgow, and then just continue up north. We plotted a rough path, and now I can double click on the points if I want to make them smoother and curve them out a little bit. And if you want, you can add more points to make the route more detailed and so on, but I like to have a general idea of the path that we took. When we're happy with the path, we head over to the right side panel to apply the style that we want. You have a lot of different options. So I think the blue makes a nice contrast here, so I can change the color to whatever I want. Add some thickness to the line. I can add a little arrow in the top. And I can also choose to have it as a dotted line or different styles like that. So this is nice. Now let's add the animation. So click on animation in the top and add an effect which is line draw. And you can see the line animated. And you can choose the duration, the speed of the animation also. And try it again. So, this looks nice. And to save it we head up to file, export and movie. You don't have to change any settings here really, but I like to add some extra resolution, at least 4000 in width, so that you can get the quality in the video. Then just choose save and save it to your hard drive. So the video is done. You have a video file of the animated track that you took over a map. Really nice. So now we can use it in our video project. Just drag it onto your timeline and you can adjust the start and end of the clip there to make it nice. You can also add some zooming and panning on the map to make it come alive even more. In this case I used the Ken Burns cropping feature in Final Cut. I would say that looks fantastic. And also if I make voiceovers and I want to make a stop in Edinburgh, I can just hold that frame for a while and talk on and then let it continue when I'm finished. So that is the easiest way that I have found that makes some quality results. Sadly, I haven't found a way to do that in PowerPoint as easily. So it's for Apple and Keynote, which is free uh, on Apple. So yeah, happy mapping. Hope you liked it. Bye bye.